I'm not sure if that is working. And um, that thing is upside down, so let's put it in that way around. Clean the lens. Focusing. Can you see the spray? Maybe I'll flip the lens on them. There we go. Right. I'm not sure if anyone can hear me. If you can hear me, you'll have to let me know. But we're basically now live on the baby, which I've just had a little slight hitch with where I couldn't get the GPS to, to work, which is essential spraying in the dark. But it was because I still had the machine in road mode, so I'd finished one field and gone on to another field. And when I arrived in this field, the machine was still in road mode and it was deliberately not engaging the auto steer as a safety device because in case you knock it on the road it starts to take you in a straight line but I, it's the first time i've done that so i didn't realize let me just unclip the lens so yeah we've got road and field mode here and i've left it in road mode now i have sprayed in road mode a few times you know, going up down the field there. i have sprayed in road mode a few times but only on headlands, and then by the time I've got around headlands, I've realised I'm in road mode, so I've swapped it. You can't hear me, yeah. So, got my blue lights on. If I knock the work lights off, you can see the blue lights better on the spray pattern. But the work lights are that bright anyway. I can pretty much see what I'm doing. So, this is this is my view. I'll flip the camera again. There we go. So I can see down each boom. I'll put them lights off again so you can see. There we go. Look at that. Like a lilac colour. And then that's in front now with just the headlights on. Then put the work lights on and it's like daylight. Any foxes? No, not seeing any. This is a field of oilseed rape stubble that's been sown with wheat and I want to get all my pre-emergence spray on today because tomorrow I'm going back onto glyphosate roundup and spraying off stubbles ready for oh need to turn that on the radar turn it on for the boom height control because I had it turned off because I reset the spray I think I'd have done something wrong but it wasn't it was just I had it in road mode yeah, so I'll go back onto glyphosate, spray some stubbles off, because now we've got like moist soil. When we're sowing, stuff's coming up really quickly, and I don't want to end up getting caught out where I can't spray it off. It's, it's, it's flashing at me because that end boom spraying ever so slightly, because we've got a light, little bit of satellite shift because I've been parted up a bit. Right, so I'll pull back into this track now, press the pedal, get a bleep, that should go green. It should start steering on its own. Booms are on. Speed it up a bit. Off we go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get all my pre emergence done and then I'm back onto glyphosate and I'll be spraying off in front of where we're going to be sowing. And then that way, then, if I do get caught out and the wheat starts coming up quicker, at least I've killed any weed seeds. And if I'm putting pre emergent on while it's showing, like it is at the moment, you can't really see off the sprayer. But there's little tiny shoots about that big just popping out because this was sown last Thursday. And now it's like moist and warm. The stuff's coming up really quick. Is the spray a 36 meter? Yes. Hello from Bedford. You've had rain today, haven't you? Because I was talking to um, Jamie Burroughs and he's had rain. Well, you spray, you're using sticky weed. I don't know what you mean. What will a spray? I'm going to go until it's live on Thursday. It's literally five minutes from our farm. I wasn't planning on now. Hi, Joseph. Happy birthday. Hello, from Charlie from Bedfordshire. <laughs> yeah, rain all day. Hello from Devon. Yeah. How fast are you going? 10k? I'm not actually going that quick tonight because this is the last tank pump. 
lot of rain in East Yorkshire. Oz, morning from Oz. What's the special occasion? Nothing really. I was just working late, so I just thought I'd show you what was going on because the lights look cool. Do that. Yeah, brilliant. Look at the lights. Mate's mum works the DVLA. Ooh, that's some cool. Yeah, have a word of that. We'll be getting the logbook back today or tomorrow. Evening from the Grand Canyon. That's a fancy place to be. On a Wednesday night or Tuesday when I get up to know. Is it Wednesday? Is it Tuesday? We just use tap water. We don't collect the rainwater because the roofs are in the wrong place from where the spray is kept. And you'd be surprised how dirty our rainwater is off the roofs because of all the dust from the grain dryers and the wood chip. I'm just watching the screen up there as it's turning. Press the button now, then flip this switch here. That'll activate the booms and put it back into four wheel steer. So take it out of four wheel steer and put it to two wheel steer and it keeps a straight line going up the field. So we speed up a little bit now. We put 195 litres on. It's, I think it needs ever so slightly calibrating because if I set it for 200 litres and do what I need to do, it kind of sort of runs out. So I think it's set wrong. And then like snow or frost there, the way that light's reflecting off the shovel. See, the volunteers have died now. These were green the other week, but now they're just like a yellowy dead colour. Yeah, there's dark nights now. It's like properly dark and it's only, I don't know what time is it now, 10 to 9. But it, it's been dark for nearly an hour, to be honest. Where's Adam? He's trying to put the 3650 in another shed with Sam. That's the sound nearly rolling off the low loader. Oh, there's the moon. Doesn't look as good on your camera, but it's quite a big half moon. Bat in front of us there. Oh no, it's not a little bird. Why don't I get a Devala? Because there's nothing the Bateman with the best sprays you can get. You've got the steps folded up. Little uh, st activate by here to flip this switch now. Steps go down. For some reason they haven't. There you go. Time to go. Look it again. Up to go. I'm going to watch now because the tram line doesn't is slightly offset to the other one. So I've got to steer into that one, otherwise the boom will hit that tree. There we go. go around the tree. Over in cables there, they are higher than they look, but they look really low under LED lights. Right. And we'll turn now across here. We're not going to go all the way to the bottom because we've done that bit. This is such a loop that it doesn't really fit the sprayer down properly. So we'll loop short of it onto that red line that's appearing now. Hit the pedal. Let it steer in. Turn the booms back on. And they'll come on then on their own with the GPS. Don't know if you can hear the little clicking noises. Oh, just a tiny bit there. The clicking noises is it sorting out the air pressure because with the booms coming off in different sections, some of them are on and some of them aren't. It has to keep varying the pressure up there to keep it right. If we put that view on now, uh, you can see that's the field, that's how much I've done. Press that, that's how much is left in the tank. There's not really a lot left to spray, to be fair. Everyone's questions disappeared off the screen. It's not strange. I've got a cup holder coming anyway. I've heard other tell I'm not GTV. Yeah, I don't really like him. Yeah, Adam's doing his own things now. Is it complicated to drive the sprayer? No, not really, no. It's what you call a horseshoe, so they can turn the boom sections off manually in groups of three metres, but I don't need to because the GPS does it in all them different sections. So I think we've got a one metre, a two metre, a three metre, a three metre, a three metre, a six metre, six metre, three metre, three metre, three metre, two metre, one metre. So as you get a bit of overlap, it can knock one of the boom sections off. If Tesla did sprays, you could probably do it from your office. Yeah, as long as you mark the telegraph poles. I didn't know if there's blocks bounce. Would you ever think about getting a fast track 8330? Yes, if they were four wheel steer. 
has harvest officially stopped? Well, we've got the sunflowers to harvest. Can't tell them us. Yeah, we used to sort of, we made used to have one, it was all right. Come to the UK for a vacation, come on, come and work on the farm a couple of days. Where are you coming from? Do you have auto steer on all the machines? Uh, yeah, I think we do now. The sprayer does the fence, they're going to put it on it. They've lent it to someone. The other fence has got it on, and the fast track's got it on. Hatchmere, is that near, um, is that near Delamere? What about the summer barley? It drove past it today. It looks really well, to be honest. I don't think it'll head, though. I think it was sown too late this year. Someone wants to come and shoot pigeons. We need about 400 people shooting pigeons, I think. Now, this is a bit awkward now in this corner because there's a fence in the way. And I'm going to have to back up. And it's a bit difficult using one hand to film and one hand to... One hand to turn the sorry, one hand to film and one hand to turn the steering wheel. That click annoys me letting go of that fast because I'm using the hand to move that on the steering wheel. So we swing around there now and watch we don't hit that fence. Then we'll look for that line there that's black to go red. And then once that's gone red and we're halfway near it, we'll press the pedal on the floor down there, which you probably can't see because it's dark. And that'll engage the GPS. Oh, and guess what? Today, I have put my phone in do not disturb mode, so hopefully we won't get interrupted. Yeah, the neighbours will think it's a UFO, and also the houses light up blue when you turn at the end, so they probably also think that there's a major police incident going on. So click that now. That should engage. Start steering in the straight line. Boom section's on. A little bit of clipping now as all the nozzles turn on. There you go. Then off we go up the field again. There's only half a pass left. Someone loves Merlot's. Have we had our case MX135? Yeah, when James was 15, we hired one for a bit off Frank Rollins and James drove it. I think we might have even had it for a year. Why blue lights? Because if you turn, a, if you turn them lights off there now and then put the blue ones on, the blue light shows water droplets better than any other colour. Is that the new spray? Yes. What are they out sowing wheat this early in the season? Well, if you live in the wet northwest, if you don't sow it early, often you won't get it in in time. Are you doing the tractor run again at Christmas? Yes. Still waiting to fix the date. The lady at the police that's supposed to be helping me sort the date out wasn't answering her phone last week, which was slightly annoying. So I'm actually reminding me, I'll have to ring it tomorrow. Really looks like frost, actually, that the way them lights are shining. We've got another light up here. What was that, did? Well, that's behind the tank, innit? I've got a spider's web on the um, lens. Have you got couch sand? No. Would you ever think about getting the newer 936? Yep. Yeah, I've actually got a black one on demo at the moment, Pews, but I think it's too much money. I think it's 220000 which makes this spray look expensive, actually. What's your favourite tracks if you can't have a Massey? What do you think the ATS is demo and the down on us? How much spray have we got to do this year? Well, 1,400 acres several times. Eight times sometimes. Get into the corner now. Now, so I've entered into this corner now. Boom's off. I can't turn left because of the way it's I've come into a point. So now I'll turn right over what I've done. What's the biggest John Deere I've driven? I don't know. Used to have a um, used to have a 7830 when we first started direct driven. Why do I want a black 936? Because I've always wanted one to look cool. How many horsepower spray? I think it's 280. Bateman might know. Someone watching might know. Only that little pass to do now. So if I zoom in like that, you'll see. And then if you see what's left in the tank, should have quite a bit left to be fair. 375 litres, yep. So, off we go. Have you got an engine combine? Yeah, funnily enough, a guy from um, 
oh, the Netherlands, I think it was, was interested in the spec of it. I think they might have put it on their website as well, Morris Caulfield's. Got GPS to use. I don't know, this is our leader and everything else. Defense of the fast track or T jet. And don't tremble. Sorry. And the. I'm not sure what's in the other fence because it's not arrived yet. I'm a hard worker. I'm knackered today. What are the cameras on the screen? On which screen? We've got a camera behind us. And then we've got a camera there showing us what's in the tank. I'm at least I've put 195 litres on. And then because the headland can be a bit grassy, I'm going to wash out on the headland. How's the sunflowers doing? I think I've closed it now. I don't think I'll own it again. What's your next purchase on the farm? I don't know. Will I sell the combine? Well, if the price is right, yeah, and they can get me a new one and match the payments and bait them, yeah. Thoughts on the third price is ridiculous. Only ever had a 422 fast track. I from Mid Wales. Tell Ella, my daughter, I am a life watching you spray. <laughs> Take it, Ella's now watching you spray. I'm telling you to get a life to stop watching me spray. Right, so we've finished this field now. We've got 300 litres left. So I reckon now. I go back to that page there and then I dial the rate down to hundred and forty litres. Then press that there. And then that should now sorry, did you see that? I've dialed the rate down now to 140 litres and I've turned off the auto. So now I'm gonna spray out on the headland and lose the little bit that's left in on the grassiest bit. So that gets the best dose. Would I try McCormack X7? No. I, I don't. We have a very good fence and two very two very good fence dealers and two very good JCB dealers in our area. So we also have a good John Deere dealership to be fair, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of John Deere tractors. We used to have quite a bit of trouble with reliability and stuff. And Fence and JCBs do everything we need. So I don't see the point of trying other brands that don't have strong dealers in the area. When was the last time I talked to Tom Pemberton? Uh, I don't know, on Instagram the other day, I think. They're all on T7 or T8. Neither of them, because when you get in them, it's like wearing a jumper. It's tight because the cabs are too small. Someone's finally caught me live. Yeah, so this can get quite grassy along this ditch. So that's why that little bit that's left is going to get go on there and be beneficial. Do you think the OSI ahead enough? Uh, some of it is. Some of it's a bit behind. Holly Blogs Farm Shop. People wouldn't bother coming, would they? If you watch that 11 kVA line. There's one in front of me there as well. A lot of people, though, that have different tractors, it all depends on what dealers you've got near. If you've got a really good Massey Ferguson dealership by you, then buy Massey Ferguson tractors. If you've got a really good class dealership by you, buy class tractors. We do have a really good class dealership by us, but they just look after the combine. How much did the baiting cost? Is it 240000 or 230000 something? I can't just remember now. When BPS ends, what are you going to do on your farm? Same as I've always done. We only get BPS on about 20% of the acres we farm anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Have you ever tried a case track? We used to have them years ago, but there's no deal in that. Do you ever get attached to tractors or are they just machines? Um, I suppose I don't really. Because... 
I do, I like them, but then if you replace them for one the same or better, what's what's the difference? Got a squeak, I've got a squeak. Got less in the tank. 115 litres. So it should just run out nicely on the headland. Now I'll have another collection because they're brilliant. Apparently the John Deere X9 is nearly 600,000 quid, 568,000. But apparently it was cutting wheat the other day, 140 tonnes an hour, which is fairly colossal. Got Bo Mucky on my phone, say hello to Ali for me. What did you have before Merlo? So David Brown, 990 with front end loader. Right, 32 litres left. In a minute, it will start running out. You'll probably hear it clicking as it tries to up the pressure. Tracks and machines are part of your toolbox, yeah. Yeah, you do need big feels for that combine. Sorry, I'm just concentrating going around this bend. I can't read the questions. Right, so we're pretty much out of spray now. Yeah, I've seen the fent load of the raised cab, not tried one. They did have a demonstration one, but they never sent it to us. We used to have a 990 with a loader on. We did until 2001, I think it was. We've just had Merlot's now for 20 years. Foot and mouth when we got the first one. Ideal time with no steering wheel. I've, I've not seen one close enough up. But fence is what? Fence and massive all over my echo. Do the spray and it's less stressful. It's not stressful, man, anyway, spray. Do you own most land you farm or do you know concert? I um, have a mixture. We own around 300 acres and rent a lot and contract farm a lot. How many hours does your combine have on it? I think it's 170 drum hours. Have you had a herd of animals on your farm? We've got some sheep at the other farm and we used to have cows. How many acres? farm do you have excluding how many acre farm do you have excluding contracting 300 acres what's your favourite job on the farm I like spraying when it's a bit boring filling up but putting liquid fur on is alright because it's dead quick do you like masses I think the passengers seen the cabs are rubbish on masses so that puts me off them it's like a UFO with them lights it's even more like a UFO with them lights see it's like just dribbling out now it's finished do you have a farm dog no, but apparently there's one on the way. He used to have a border collie, but he got run over chasing squirrel. It's beeping at me now, saying the rate control is not responding because it's running out of spray. It's pretty much empty. We're going to stop now. Turn the booms off, that's the big hiss. And then we'll lift the booms up. It's a shame I can't get out and film this because if we get off the seat, it won't do it. You need to be in to flip the switches. So we'll lift it up a bit, then we'll fold the wing tips in, so that's the very end. So if you look, that last six metre section is folded in on both sides. You can see it coming round now. There it is now. Then we flip them two switches. That section now starts to fold in. So now we're at 24, and then this is now going to fold down to 12. So once that comes all the way around the back, we're only 12 metres wide. There we go. Then we flip that switch there now, which changes the booms from the outer sections to the inner sections, and we hold in that one, and it starts to fold the rest of the booming 
Now, in fact, I'll show you this side. It's easy. You can see more because the radiator's not in the way. So that'll start to fold in. And just before it gets much closer than it is now, it'll start to lift up so it goes into its holders without bending the mud guards. There we go. So it's lifting up now. It's folding in. You see a nice big blue light now shining forwards. There you go. There's a blue light there shining. Then flip them off. Let me hold that switch there now. Switch the boom down. And the booms are going to go back into the carriers. There we go. And then we fill a little thud as it sits into the very back carrier. And then that's all locked in now. Then we'll tell it to finish the field. It says as he presses the wrong button. So close that job off. Yeah, we've finished it. There we go, main screen. We can turn that off now. We don't need that for today. So go back and see what people just were saying. That's the green strut. Yeah, it did. Could you spray with only 12 EV open? Yeah, you can. Could film bar in the yard how the booms work. Uh, could you spray it to all eight? Yeah. Can you spray it to all? Yes. Has the grain right yet? Yeah. I think you need to eat carrots. Can't see the thing. Is this your last sprayer or getting a new one in the future? I'm only 40. I don't think it's going to last 25 years till I retire. Rained off and came to still 400 acres spring wings. Do you? Oh, are you in the farm or do you just work there, owner? Do you have all your spray lights? Yep. Do you make a good income from the wood chips? Yeah, it's all right. It keeps us busy in the winter. Probably can explain that gate, how the gate got crushed. It got tangled round the combine header when Jonathan picked it up the other day. Right. So we have to hang up in a minute once we get to the get to the road. What was your smallest spray here? We used to have a 12 meter hardy sprayer on the back of the David Brown 990. Hi from Italy. Any jobs going? No, at the moment. Where do you live? Will you take any of harvest staff on next year? Yeah, we probably will take a harvest student on next year, to be honest. Should be a female one, though, and then, then um, might get more people watching the channel. Trail cams don't catch fly tippers. Trail cams get stolen. Are oh, you red track for short? Yes. Hopefully. Got an audit soon. Watch from Canada. Say, oh, someone's got blue lights in Canada on the days. What relationship does your dad have with the farm? Well, he's my dad. <laughs> What do I like more, Andrew's JCB or the Mini Merlo? The Mini Merlo every time because it's more versatile. But it was a lot more money. And she can film miles of boost reviews. Yeah, definitely. And you'll get a brand new 936. Are you going to fit the flotation tires? I don't know, probably not. Avidex, I've used it sometimes, but not a lot. Looks like you need gates on all your fields to stop the flight. Well, if you look there, there's a major concrete block there. And there's a big piece of metal stuck to it. And then there's a tyre blocker just there. So now we've finished, we'll put them across. Most jaw-dropping moment in your career in a good way. Combine drivers like the Lloyds Bank. Have oh, yeah, I know her on Twitter. Um, what's the name now? What's the name? Still a funny name on Twitter. Just starting Canola, second row. What, what was someone, someone just asked me a question then? I can't remember where it was. Is that for long? Can you see me better? There we go. Uh, you'd probably drive around, they wouldn't because it's huge. It's like a big metal rod sticking out of it. Um, just reads the last question before I can look. I've been live for 29 minutes. Oh my God, it's taken me ages. Does the RB55 demount? Yeah, you can take the spray pack off in about 20 minutes, I think. 
Helena Dirty, that's her name, yeah. Trying to read some of the questions before I hang up. Yeah, I need to put air on the spray. Yeah, it's almost got 700 sheep. Oh my god, why do you have the UV lights so you can see the spray nozzles are working correctly, not blocked? A spray in that definitely air runs on the sprayer. What would you say to encourage farming? What do you mean, encourage farming? I don't get what you mean. Would, would you demo a valve spray? Yeah, yeah, we've had them in the past. Do you spray merge or distinct? I don't know what that is. Is that Lee from Mike Mitchell's? It, we're putting pre-emergent spray on it, but I don't know what merge and distinct are. It must be a name that the, the companies use. What could you use a sprayer? What could you use a sprayer for of your year map? You want you put a first spray on? Why don't you put spikes across the field entrance to first size? Because we do that and we forget where we put them and they get ourselves. When are you going to quit YouTube and why will you? Well, I don't know why I should. I've got a sprayer to pay for. Do you need to wash out? No, because I'm going on to glyphosate. You can get concrete blocks from track. Yeah, they're very expensive. That's why we use tyres full of concrete. Do you support any football team? No, I support my legs. They support me. Do you find being red tractor short helps your farm? No, it hinders. Do you, you do any pest control? We have a guy in the office that does for us. How many people work on your farm? Do you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on the day. Yeah, we used to have a demount sprayer on a fence island. You need another roof light fitted to get people to start farming. Oh, we'll just watch this channel. <laughs> Join young farmers, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think the bus is slowed down for some reason. Why is the bus stopped? I don't know what the bus is doing. Um. Where's it gone? Oh, that's why it slowed down, because there's another bus coming the other way. Did I go to Alcorns College? No. What do you think of the Elms? New Elms oh, it's a mess, isn't it? Can I drive back to the farm while live stream? I don't know, is that legal? I suppose I can put it in the holder. Can you say hello to my lovely lady, Linda? Cheers. Hi, Linda. I'm ready. What is pre emerge spray? It's a spray that we put on before the wheat is supposed to emerge that kills weeds. Would you like pigeons more if they were in a pie? Never eaten it. Do you get David Brown fit? No, I've got a chance. It's still in the field. I should get a 990 New Holland Combine. I should get three to keep up with one Lexian. You best get home and have your tip. I've had it. I did it when I filled up with diesel. Did you get. Crop master fix. No, like I say, I need to go and get it. How come Sam was loaning up Adam's tractor? Because he was driving the mirror. He was in the yard. Adam's been on his digger today, He's digging somewhere, I think. Wi Fi is useless. Someone said that we don't need to import all our food. That's a good idea. What we could do is we could go and buy food from other countries. We'll have all this money leaving the country every year until eventually we've got none left. Can you say hi to Jody? Yeah, hi Jody from Mark. Are you going to sell the election if the price is right, of course? What's your favourite track on a farm? Probably the 74. Best voucher is an 85.50, apparently. Is that the Sigma Power one? Or well, they were the 87.50s. Let me see if I can put you in the holder. And then maybe. Flip the camera around. Someone's watching from St. Helens. Right, now, so we're in road mode now. Turn the work lights off. Dip the main beam. Let's go. 
turn the interior light off, then I can find the switch. One button, there we go, interior light off. Let's put the beacons on, and then you might see a bit more as well. I don't know whether the signal will work all the way back. It'll probably might drop out when we go for the dip in the road. It's actually not too bad because the camera's behind me, so I can't see it. I presume you can see the road. So it's not actually distracting me. And I've just got my earpiece in my ear, so I'm just rabbiting on as we approach the traffic lights, which are on green, because you can guarantee they'll change by the time we get to them. So we'll slow down. They've not changed. They normally always change as you get to them lights. So that's pretty handy. We're now going to approach Halewood Village. Or what, we, what they call Church Road. Just going to go around this roundabout that never used to be here. The road used to go straight, but they built a house and say put a roundabout on. And it used to be commonly known as Stonehenge Roundabout because it used to have two big stones in the middle. But they were a bit blind for getting round the roundabout, so we pulled the stones out of it now. So, off we go now. And into the next roundabout. I think we've got one, two, three roundabouts on the way home. If anyone's typing any questions, don't bother because I can't see the screen and I'm obviously driving. Just going on quite a long sweep in the left hand bend. I think it's a bit tighter, so I'll back off a bit. It was about 62k, which is about 30 odd mile an hour, nearly 40 mile an hour, so can't go too fast in it through the village. I think it's a 30 limit. Now, on to the second roundabout now. And then I'm into a 20 mile an hour zone and got some speed bumps to go over. You can go left there, but the road's really narrow, so it's better to go through the village where the roads are a bit wider, but you do get speed bumps. I won't feel these ones, the spray will straddle them. See, no bump whatsoever. Another set of speed bumps here. Again, doesn't feel them. But this is a zebra crossing. And it's like a proper speed bump, so I have to slow down for that. So you see bouncing up and down maybe. You can probably see the joystick going up and down because that's back into the seat. And then we've got another speed bump. A bit of a bounce again past the pub. Which keeps changing names. And then we've got like a fake speed bump in a minute where the road's just painted orange but there's no actual bump, which is this one. We're in the 20 limit now, so we're not going too quick. Got the fake speed bump. And then we're going to go left now, past where they're building the houses, where they got the spring barley. Probably what it's dark now, so I don't see all the bulldozers, but you might see them in today's video. So they're in this field on the right. That's the old garage. Now, this is a roundabout again that was built when they built a house on the left here when I was in school. And when we did the tracks run and we came down, the police said, oh, we won't go round the roundabout. We'll just go to the right hand side of it. And everyone was stood on the pavement to the left here, waiting for us to come round the roundabout. So we just went straight across. So it was funny watching everyone run across to the middle of the roundabout to watch us as long as the tractors came through. I don't know if you can see now there's a gap in the hedge it says DXI on it. That is where they're working with the bulldozers making like a big pond and moving the clay to make the field higher to build the houses on so that they don't flood. So the approach is set of traffic lights now. Now these traffic lights are really annoying because 
because the spray is so high and the metal's high up in it, and you don't detect the sprayer passing over the the like electrodes in the road. So you basically have to sit here until a car comes up behind you, or just wait for nothing to be coming and go through them. So we'll stop at the lights now. I mean, it's oh, we've got a car coming behind us. I don't know if you see this. You can't see the screen up there, but I can see one on the camera. So these lights should change in a second now. But if there wasn't a car following us, the lights wouldn't go to green. You're only on it because the bridge is a little bit narrow, but you can you can still pass on it. And it never used to have lights on it, to be fair. Now some branches sticking out in the trees here, so you have to get over to the right hand side because no one ever cuts the trees back. So we're in a four to learn now, so go a little bit quicker. Slow down for this bend. So imagine because the spray has got such high ground clearance, it's quite sort of top heavy. It's not got a low centre of gravity. So you can't drive it too fast around bends. And then also it's got if it's full of water as well. You get like a sloshing effect sometimes. So you have to really concentrate and just take it steady when you're moving it around. It's a bit different to just driving a tractor. So you might lose signal now because this is where we lose phone conversations sometimes. And it cuts off. And that's what it was, and I'll see you all tomorrow. That's the field of squads now, but hopefully they dig in at the weekend. Dip my lights to the main beam. Must be bin day. Really bins are out. Slow down now for the team junction. This is going to go right now into the village. And there's now an approaching target. Look at the comment. Off we go. I'm chatting away here. The phone might have cut off about two or three minutes ago. I'm going for the dip in the road with the signal drops. I don't know. So wait till I get back to the yard and see. I'll keep talking in case it hasn't. It's past the village hall now. We've been in an event on tonight. You can see people to be locking up and getting in the cars. Oh, I forgot we've got some temporary traffic lights at the end of our road now because we're putting the water main in. So slow down now. Turn into water lane. That's changes. Out at the end. Lights are on red. Oh, we've gone to green. That was handy. Just what we don't hit the tree here, because the tree branches stick out here. Let's see if we can flatten some cones. So, you only at the farm now. Just got to go run over some horse poo. Must have been. The poo's not been run over yet. And it's uh, 10 or 4, 9 o'clock at night, whatever it is. And so, over the bridge we go. A bit of fly tip on the left as well, there now. Just going over the motorway. And then, once we get to the top of the hill, to start slowing down, ready to turn back into the yard. Um, we just pull back on the joystick, and it's basically all engine braking and like overrun brakes in, built into the transmission somehow. Slow right down because negative camber when we're turning, and then back in the yard now. Yawning. Oh. Tired. 
is the mini mallet. A lot now. Nope, it's not cut off. I can't believe there's 420 people watch me walk, drive back from the field. Um, right, I'm going to go. I'm going to lock this in the shed and then um, get to bed because I've got lots to do tomorrow. So thanks to everyone that's watching and thanks to everyone that's watching the channel as well. Don't forget to tell your mates. Someone's on holiday in Tenerife. Oh, I need to say thanks to uh, Pete from Bateman as well because when I come in to work before I had to ring him up. Uh, luckily, he was in the wagon. Just, just reading all the comments that have just appeared. I don't even care about. What have done? Oh, I've done it. I was liked on that mistake. I don't know if I've got to turn the beacon up. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Where's the hang up button? Put my hang up again. Don't normally have to because it normally cuts off. Right, I've gone.